Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Divas, Divas Getting Raw. Raw. Episode number 25. 25. 25. 25. Wow. We are in Indianapolis tonight Indianapolis. for a special edition of oh, Monday Raw. Night Raw. And guess who comes out? Kick, the champion. It off yeah. The champion, CM Punk. Not Cena, CM Punk. We realize we got two champions yes. now. So CM Punk, he's the champion and he asks a million dollar question, why is he here? Now, he's here because um, he spoke his mind. Yes. And because he spoke his mind, things change. Yes. Right? But First it, thing being, McMahon was relieved of yes, his duties. Exactly. And then um, he's champion. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But then when, uh, you know, when he went away, remember when he was like, yeah, when, um, what was it? Uh, before he came back to Raw, uh, but John Cena was already... You know the uh, a champion yeah. because they gave him. You know, there, there are two belts now. There are two, two belts. belts. John Cena has the other one. So CM Punk makes sure to put the fun back in WWE. Not the same old crap. Uh, you know Cena's parading around. I'm the champion. Uh, CM Punk is not going to let that happen no. again. No. And uh, so. Yeah, there is only one champion, and that's CM Punk. That's what he says. Yeah, and he says there's a belt and there's a title. Cena has the belt. He, he CM has Punk has the title. title. Yes, right. Triple H comes out, the COO, the Chief Operating oh, oh. Officer, and gives an uh, gives CM Punk an ex an explanation on why he brought him back. Right. Simply just He's business. He's good for business. He's good for business. The WWE Universe wanted right. him. Yeah. And so it was good for business. So he'll he'll do whatever what the WWE universe says. Right. And then Sam Punk, uh, the Sam Punk is like, uh, you know what, Triple H, you couldn't afford to see me go. Your and Triple H, you're a bully. <laughs> Triple H, you're a bully, and you like to pick on people. And Triple H, uh, and Triple H simply said back to him, you know. I do have an ego, but I do. Part of my ego wants to slap the tattoos off your, yeah, off your skinny, little skinny body. Yeah, you know, just skinny fat ass. That's what he yeah. said. I know, right? Um, but um, he's not going to break any rules. Triple H is not going to break any rules because he has a high position. And he said to you know CM Punk, you know, you better not break any rules, as well. No yeah, more. No yeah. more. Or else things will happen because he is his he's, boss now. Yeah. Yeah, so next up we have the Divas Battle Royal, and this determines the number one contender for the uh, Divas uh, Championship. And then it's, it's actually none other than Beth Phoenix. Yeah. So, uh, what was it? Kelly Kelly was um, sitting by the announcer table. By the announcer table. And, you know, Kelly Kelly went to went in the ring to congratulate Beth Phoenix, but Beth Phoenix counteracted. It was like, oh no. Mm -mm. I'm going for that towel. Yep. I'm not going to be any friends. Mm -mm. You're my enemy. <laughs> you don't have to. A blonde bimbo? I mean, a blonde those bimbo. are some fighting words. Definitely. So, like... Oh, stop. <laughs> oh. Oh. Come, uh, come on! <sighs> Backstage, Miz and R-Truth, you know, they're talking, and R-Truth believes that there's a conspiracy. Against both of them. Against both of them, because they were fighting for one championship belt the other night, and then now there's two. Mm. Mm -hmm. It got it got Miz uh, thinking, too. Yeah. Then also, you know, Cena's being interviewed, and um, he's going to be there when Triple H uh, makes his decision on what Triple H will do to settle the score for two championships. Right. So, uh, but we have a tag team match next. It's Miz, R-Truth versus Rey Mysterio and John Morrison. And I thought this was a really exciting match. And unfortunately for Rey Morrison, Miz and R-Truth won. Sorry. Yep. And then what? Backstage, um, you know, backstage, um, Triple H is talking about he's not phased about uh, the wife line because um, what was the same punk mentioned about his wife and Triple H is like, no, I'm not phased by that because that's so ten years old. Yeah. So it's like, but you it's know, it's been said before. It's been said yeah. before. Yeah. And also, he said that Cena will be there when he makes his decision. Well, Cena needs to understand that this is strictly business. So, and then we have Dolph Ziggler and Vicky Guerrero, they come out, and you know, um, Vicky Guerrero, excuse me, excuse yeah. me, you know, Dolph Ziggler is wonderful, he was a former Intercontinental Champion, he's got the best and now talent and charisma, he's the, the United WWE. States yeah, Champion, the best. then Alex Riley comes out, and then he's like, oh wait, 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 Dolph Ziggler, if you think you're a man, then why are you hiding, hiding behind 
Vicky Guerrero. Right. Yeah, no, you're not a man. You know, unless you step out of Vicky Guerrero's shadow, then you're a Just man. Just drop her. Just drop her. Yeah, and then, you know, he'll be a man. But so, the best is, Ziggler just leaves. Ziggler and leaves. he's like, who are you? Yeah, I know. Ziggler's like, no, who are you? I don't know who you are. Yeah. Alex Riley's <laughs> like, all right, whatever. Don't be a man then. Uh, then we have McGillicuddy, Yotanga versus Zack Ryder, Broski, and Santino. Well, well, well. It was nice to see him overall. Oh, it was good. This wasn't a bad match. I just wish it was longer. And also, unfortunately, Zack Ryder got pinned. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, McGillicuddy. But and when Yotanga. he came out, when he got the tag from Santino, yes. the crowd, the went, crowd wild. went wild. Oh, my God. oh yeah, let's go, Zack. Yeah. You know, yeah, it, it was, was awesome. really cool. So it was nice to see Zack Ryder. Uh, and then we have Abeto Del Rio versus Evan Bourne, and this was all right. It, it was an okay match. Uh, uh, Alberto Del Rio was like dominating Evan throughout the whole match, and um, fortunately for Evan, Alberto won. And then, but uh, Alberto Del Rio wouldn't stop beating up on Evan, mm -hmm. so Kofi Kingston came out to save the day. Yeah, yeah. And then we have, um, and then we have the final decision. Triple H, you know, comes out. It's a settle to score between both championships. Um, and then all of a sudden, uh, you know, someone that's very unfamiliar in the WWE came out, John Laurinaitis. Oh, yeah. He's the executive vice president of talent relations. And he actually said he wants to strip John Cena of the title. He does not like Cena because pretty much what went down at the last pay-per-view when Laurinaitis tried to come out and ring the bell yeah. for John Cena to win, and then John Cena hit him. Yes. Laurinaitis does not like That's Cena. why. Yeah, and also supposedly simply the fact that CM Punk won the match. Yep. But I don't know. We don't really know. So, and then, uh, what was it? Cena comes out and was like, yeah, okay. Basically said what, what you just said. It's like, no, 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 no. You simply don't like me. Well, I don't like you. I'm going to punch you in the face. Again. Again. Yes, <laughs> I'm going to punch you in the face. So John Lauren had to step back, he got out of the ring, yeah, he, he got left. scared. So and then CM Punk comes out. You know, John Cena and CM Punk, they're like, no, we're not giving up our titles. No, what are we going to do, Triple H? What are we going to do? So Triple H is like, no, you know what? At SummerSlam, you guys are going to settle the score. One match, one championship. Winner will be the undisputed, undisputed WWE championship champion at SummerSlam. Yep. So, so that's what Triple H is going to do. You guys are going to settle the score. Yeah. Yeah, and that's how it ended that's Raw. It ended, and you know yeah. what? I liked it because, you know, yeah, there's got to be one championship. Yeah, they both held up their, you know, belts at the end, and now there's only going to be one of them. One we'll of those see. Belts, so. We'll see what happens two weeks away, SummerSlam. All right, let's do some shout-outs. I, I want to give a shout-out to Sports Heroes and Legends. I keep shouting them out, and I love that store. It is the place Number one. to meet wrestlers, guys. Sports Heroes and Legends, Staten Island, New York, okay? If you don't live in New York, Fly there. Please get some money to fly there to meet wrestlers. Because you know what? What was it? The 19th, they will have Sid Vicious. Psycho Sid. Psycho That's awesome. Sid. That's crazy. Yes, autograph Guys, signing. I will put their Facebook fan page down in the description. Definitely go like, like it. them. Go like because them. Because you'll see all their new events, events. coming up yes. this summer and for the rest of the year, and you don't want to miss out. So. China will be coming later in That's September. In September. From TNA. And you know, former WWF like. With, yeah, with, with Intercontinental. Inter come guys, on. come on, all right? Yes. So yeah, guys, definitely sports Shout them out. Legends. Yeah, Dan and Check Angie. I love you guys, Dan and Angie. All right, and that is all from us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Till next week. Yes, bye guys. Bye guys. And bye from Boo. Bye, bye. guys. <laughs>